Hello, Michelle here from Rosie Chic Paper Crafts, etc. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. I am going to make for you a 6x6 six six accordion fold album. It is a great album to um, use for embellishments because it's expandable or anything, uh, chunky scrapbook, um, smash book anything of that nature um and here is my sort of rough draft i was designing it out how i wanted it before i actually um was going to show you so it's six by six and um so i what i used is i used uh, um these six by six chipboards they're black chipboards and i got those that made me made it i will link all of my shopping links in my description bar okay so i use those um for the covers and on the outside cover um all of your uh sheets are going to be except for two are going to be cut um, you leave the mat you leave the chipboard six by six and then the the cover mats are five and three-fourths by five and three-fourths and then the inside cover you leave that uh, you cut that at a six by six and then everything else is going to be five and three-fourths by five and three-fourths so it fits nicely into your album so the paper that I am using for this is the essential craft papers and it is the metal texture pad and it is craft consortium it is a company a British craft company that I designed for I'm very proud um, to be on that design team so um, the May May Made It design team has ended but I'm still an affiliate so I will still be making projects with her products and linking uh, where to go in my description bar so how this is made then I will show you. Let's get started. So, um, oh, I didn't really do a flip through, did I? So the pages then, they, um, they just flip. So you're gonna get, it's five pages, but you really get 10 sides. So there's one page, two page, three page, four page, five page, okay? And then it's able to stand up and it's actually a circle accordion so it goes in a complete circle so it can be displayed like that in a complete circle okay, it completely flips around um, you can choose to tie it you know put a belly band around it um, tie it closed with a ribbon so there is the outside accordion okay and then you can also tie a ribbon underneath the inside cover panels okay oh, sorry that's the inside cover panel and you can also um, put the first uh, accordion fold underneath the inside cover it's up to you I chose to leave them out okay so there's that I'm gonna get started making it all right so I'll get my scrap piece that I glue on and I'm going to just um, go ahead and completely cover this with the glue stick oh, I got chunky pieces of glue on there I don't want that this is really pretty paper. They're like um, oxidized metals almost. It's very realistic looking. 
can be very hard to do that mixed media wise with your inks on your own. What not? Okay. Alrighty. So then I'm just gonna um, go ahead and center that as best I can. Get excess glue off my fingers, sorry. Make sure that I'm in frame. So I like to um, sort of make sure, like look at the two top corners and go down and make sure um, that I have about the same amount. Oops, slid it down too much. That's okay, it's a nice thing. to craft at night so my children go to sleep because it's non-stop interruption and that's okay I love them I'll keep them okay yeah. you know I have to remind myself that I'm not a robot and that this is human made it's just really hard because even though you're, you know it's handmade and that's the charm in it that it's not perfect. You want it to be, don't you? You want it to be. Okay, sometimes you just have to say good enough. All right, so I'm going to burnish that down, get that on there really good. cover now the inside cover like I said that is going to be six by six can go underneath the accordion fold. Yeah, we'll just, we got a little, little screw on the measurements. But. You know, and it could be the chipboard isn't exactly, but I think it is. I think I, I'm not gonna blame the chipboard. I haven't measured the chipboard, but. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see what side do I want. That's more scratchy looking, isn't it? I think I'll go with the that. Okay. Go ahead and cover that. All right. Scrap over to the side. I always like to use um. printer paper for my go sheets or um, you know like just junk mail or something really an easy album to make. But, um, I'm not sure if it's Alyssa or Eliza. I think it's Alyssa Golden. She inspires me very much. She makes very pretty journals. So this whole um, circle accordion. Well, it's, it's not officially a circle accordion because the 
circle accordion is attached all the way around. I have an opening. <clears throat> covered and then there's the mat so there's the outside mat and then I'm going to completely cover the inside mat okay so now on to the other side just love these papers I've been very happy with Consortium, the stuff that they've been sending me. I'm absolutely like this is really cool. All these essential craft papers. Um, it's like everything you can need. But, um, the Herbarium by Katie Hackney. She's an artist and she actually, you know, makes the art. And then they make it print it and make it so that we can craft with her art, which I think is a really cool thing to support an artist like that. Okay, well that one didn't give me too much trouble. I guess I just gotta do, just do it, you know? <laughs> like the Nike, just do it. I sit there and fret about every little centimeter. Never get anything done. Okay. There's that. And then, um, yeah, I was having some issues with this not being exactly, but that's okay because where it's not exact, I'm gonna go ahead and put that. Well, this is really not the, let's see, why did that end up so wonky? That might be too wonky. I may have to cut a nut. Let's see if I have. Better piece, yeah. I just need to be able because whatever side isn't exact. Yeah, right here. We'll use. Will this work? Whatever side isn't exact, I can cover it up with the um, accordion binding. Yeah, I'll just go with that one. Yeah, as long as it covers most of it. And is that a match? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to that side now. Sorry, I'm so quiet. The kids are sleeping and it's late here. But somebody um, wanted to know if I was gonna have a couple people asked me if I was going to have a tutorial on this accordion fold because embellishment books are really popular right now and this is a clever way to fit all your embellishments in if you have expansion. I hope I'm in frame. I feel like I put my camera down really low. Sorry for when I pick it up and go out of frame. It's just like natural for me to do that. So be the back cover. It gives me too much of a hard time. Put it in the back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is this? I don't know. I'm just having a hard time, a wonky time measuring today. That'll be okay. We'll just, um, yeah, put that on the bottom and that in the back. Call it a day. Okay, you can't even really tell. I'm just being really. Keepy, keepy, keep. Okay. Is that gonna come? 
Come up on me now. Because I took too long deciding. Oh, jeez. The whole thing's going to come up on me now because I took too long to decide. It's okay. I'll just put it back down. Can I get the rest of it? I think so. everybody's weather. Ours has been nothing but rain. We have a lit, little teasers of sun and then just rain, rain, rain for weeks now. I'm surprised the whole Kansas hasn't flooded. Oh, bless you people in Oklahoma and Texas. You've really been getting hit with the weather and the tornadoes. We've had, um, we had to go in the storm shelter one day. But nothing hit. Nothing ever hits right on the army post. Okay. So then that's going to be the other cover. And I'm going to put that back. Let's see. And then, um, so I have in total here, I have five sheets cut at five and three fourths. And these ones are exact. <laughs> because I stacked them to make sure. Okay. So then... What I have here then is um, five and three fourths inch tall by 11 inches long. So 11 by five and three fourths. Okay, and then it is scored. I should mention this, it is scored at every half inch. So every half inch you're gonna have a score line. So I already put those score lines in. I don't know if they're visible. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna fold my score lines back and forth like a fan. Back and forth. Back and forth. Press in as you go. Make sure it's nice and crisp. Not crisp is the right word, but. go back over the other way because I got a little bit. I'm going to go back over it in the opposite direction just because I got a little bit going too fast. I want to make sure it's correct because it's too easy to accidentally um, fold it a little bit wonky on your own. I mean, it still work, but it won't perform as good. I'm using double sided today, so it's, and it pretty much looks good on either side, so it's like the easiest to use for this at the moment. So, do I want that on the outside or that on the outside? I think I want the more exciting bit, the more textury looking one on the outside. So, I'm gonna go ahead. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your own um, get out the right flap, gonna be glued down on the inside. Okay, before you put your glue down. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and with my art glitter glue. That you can get at Mamie's too. Stick a sheet underneath and then I'm just gonna go, you don't have to do this, you can use a spare piece of paper, but I like to use a glue stick to spray out my glue. Okay, and then I'm going to, and then if you have any excess, just go ahead and lift some of that up and then I'm going to go ahead and stick my um, my cover on and 
flip it over. Ooh. Flip it over to make sure that I got it on evenly. My frame's still. Okay, press it down once I think I got it pretty centered on there. It's slightly smaller than the cover. And that is for a reason because so everything don't stick, everything is tucked inside. All right, did I, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna need to, I need to budge this a little bit because it's, oh boy. I thought for sure I wasn't gonna do that in this video, but you know me, I'm always tearing and pulling at stuff, so don't do that. Wait, I'm just tired so that nothing's working right, but. Make sure that you, um, make sure you got your stuff even before you, um, before you press down. It's probably best to have it, um, flip it over and so you can see before you put your flap underneath. And if you um, do what I just did and you maybe nick it a little bit, you can always come back in with your ink pads and touch it up. Your VersaFine or your Tim Holtz. Alright, and then just to make sure, I'm going to do that just to make sure not, it's not overlapping again. a little bit so I had to pull it up but if you make sure that you're not over the edge before you press down I'm just being a dummy because I'm tired okay so then I got my cover on see that that's how it's going to be attached to the cover okay all right so then right. I'm going to flip it over again okay I'm working on the inside and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna skip, you're gonna wanna put a paper in, okay? And then you're gonna skip one and then put a paper in. So every other one you're gonna put a paper in. Okay? So I'm gonna fold one down, glue one in. back up. Let's see, what do I want the first sheet to be? Let's see. I think I'll make that the first sheet. Not that it really matters. They're all pretty. Okay, and just sort of, now this is the, the, the binding and the sheets are the same size, so you just kind of line those up evenly. Alright. You don't have to be so, like, it's like you were with the cover. It's pretty easy because they're cut at the same height. Okay, let me press that down. Okay. Alright, so then you're going to fold one down because you're going to always skip one in between. Don't glue them right one after another because pages won't flip. Okay, a little bit of glue. I'm being a little too generous with my glitter glue because I'm tired, but it's okay. As long as it sticks down and doesn't get too gooey. Okay, so then I'm going to go in there with the pretty red one. The 
reddish. These, uh, how this is all rusty looking amazes me. I love paper that's already done for you. <laughs> Although that's part of the fun, isn't it? To play with your ink. Like you could do this. Like if you could do this with your inks, I suppose. They got tools to do this yourself. Okay, so then I'm gonna fold one down. Fold one down, glue one. glue because I'm spreading it out with my glue stick. Getting all messy. Messy, messy. Okay, I already did that color. So let's see. I'll do this pretty blue again. Did I already do blue? Still in frame, please be in frame. Alright. Wait a minute, did I? Okay, that's why I'm getting all screwy. Oh, wait. I'm getting myself all screwed up now because I'm tired. I think I. Oops, excuse me. Okay. So then, fold one down, fold one down. Okay, that's where I got screwed up. Okay, so it's, yeah. Fold one down, glue one. Fold one down, glue one. Fold one down, I'm gonna glue one again. It's a bit tricky. Really sure. Okay. Alrighty. That, one, ooh, that one's cool. That side. Alright. Put that in there. Line it up. Just kind of put your fingers on each side and like just make sure you put it all the way in and then kind of do that with your fingers. And you can see that you're even. Alright. Alright. Fold one down. And then I'll glue one. And then you're gonna want you're gonna come when it's all put together, you're gonna be doing some gluing on the outside too. But I think, I don't know, don't you think that before they made that creepy movie that it was probably a saying? Jeepers Creepers. It seems like that would be an old timey thing. I don't know, I could be wrong. Could have been, could have came from that creepy movie. When I was um, young in the 80s, I like scary movies, but not now. I get the more the less I like that anything like that. I do like sci-fi thrillers. I think, yeah, sci-fi thrillers, but 
but like, um, ooh, I cannot do those it movies. That, ooh, that Georgie, that clown. Oh, I am like thinking about him. I don't like. I don't, I'm not a big fan of clowns. I'm just not. They're creepy. And you don't. You know what I mean? I think it's because. You don't know who's in there. I don't like anything <laughs> that you're looking at, like any costume or anything. You just don't know who's in there. Okay, and then it's just like a creepy, creepy costume. So, perfect for horror movies. Okay, get that all. Oh, it's a really wonky, it's really wonky at this stage because you guys still glue on the outside. We just gotta go back in to get it N not so crazy, you know, put that one down and then it'll, it'll all get back together. You just gotta get it all organized, you know, one down, glue one, one down, glue one. Okay, so now we're gonna put the cover on. A little less glue there. And I'm gonna use my glue stick. I really hope I'm speaking loud enough. I'm trying not to be too loud because I don't want to wake my babe. My littlest one. He's a handful. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on. Just line that up. Now, a good way to line stuff up is to do this. Could have done that in the first place. Cut my up. <laughs> Silly me. Oops, I forgot. I gotta put, um, it's not the same size, so I gotta put it a little bit. Line up the album covers is what I gotta do. Push down, push down, push down, and then that should, yeah. Album. If you line up the two covers by pressing, then you'll have it about where you need it. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's okay. I just put some glue on there. Everything's glued down and, and making it behave. Where the heck did it? There it is right there. Do you see that? It's flipping. So make sure you, you know, it's because that, that, be, that when I first started, I was um, taking too long getting everything perfect. That's another reason why you don't want to be too hard on yourself. Because the longer you take, your glue starts to dry. and make this thing behave. Oh, is that the one I just glued? Or is that another side? Well, I recommend you just go ahead and use your art glitter glue on those inside covers instead of a glue stick. And just spread it out with a piece of paper or something. So it doesn't do this to you. Art glare glue is not gonna move. It is not gonna move. Am 
my glue stick works if I'm being tutorials is <laughs> I can focus if I'm not talking <laughs> but you gotta talk to teach people don't you all right which I like to do I like, I like to teach people things and I apologize for my scatterbrainness at night time night crafter here Mommy by day, crafter by night, out of necessity. Got a military husband, he's always gone. All right. All right, so I think everything's in. I can always come back and fix it if it's not. But let's fix that outside now. Okay, so you're gonna see on the outside, you're gonna see Wherever you put a page in, it's gonna be looking kind of, kind of weird. So behind each, um, okay, so there's, you're gonna see they're real straight looking. So this one, there's one page and then two and three and four and five. You're gonna be able to see, cause you can see right here. You can see right here. You know, see, you can see where the pages are. So, you're gonna put glue behind each one of those. They're like tabs. You're gonna put glue behind each one of those and glue it, glue it together, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue behind page one of the outside binding. And I'm just going to spread it with, okay, and then smash it together, press down, and then you're going to find the next page. That's okay when that happens because I could take distress and can fix that. All right, so just make sure you don't get glue between your other valleys because um, you need those to stay apart. So then I'm gonna find the next page and I'm gonna put glue behind that one. until they all get glued like they should. Okay. Smash that again. Smash, smash. This would make a great smash album because it'll fit all your favorite things in there. All right, all right. Spread those apart again because they're sticking. Okay, and then I need to find page three. Kind of just count one, two, three, four, five. And um, if you want more pages, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it. When you, your last tab that you glued on your back cover, just go ahead and make another um, um, 11 by five and three quarters. And glue that to that last tab and then keep going. And then score every half inch and keep going and you can add more pages. And then the last tab of the second so you'll actually have like a 22 inch long thing, but you'll have 10 pages in instead. And then your last tab will be glued to the back cover. And then you do the same with this outside. Find your pages. This is the fourth page now that I'm putting some glue behind and smashing down. Okay, and then I have one to go. Here's my last page here. I'm gonna put some glue and smash it down. 
Now, my binding is going to be more behaved. It's still gonna be very flexible, but we want that. But you can tie this together, like I said, with a ribbon. Glue ribbons in before you glue your covers down. Make sure that the right things like I'm not stressed at all it did like stick together a little bit I'm not gonna stress about that because this is very distressed paper so I can fix that so easy with you know and part of what I'm looking at actually this whole time I'm thinking that they're rips they're not they're part of the paper <laughs> this paper so realistic I'm kidding like it is so realistic, like with its distressness that I act, cause there's no, these are, I don't believe these are tears. I don't know. I'm getting really confused. I know, I think that's the paper. And it's just tricking me. Okay, so now it's going to be much more behaved. And we have an album and that was like really easy so see it circular album and I can put photo mats in embellishments in but you can see like look at the expansion the expansion that that allows like how much room and space is in between each one of those pages because of that accordion the accordion binding. It's like an accordion. That's why it's called that. <laughs> My grandma had one of those when I was little and I pretended like she had a couple of different instruments and I always like pretend like I could actually play them. Very cool. So let's do a flip through. There's the covers. Okay. And then there we go. One page, two page, three page, four page. Well, I don't even think I can count right now. Four page, five page. And it's as simple as that. And you could even, what would be really cool about this is you could even like make like a out of um you can make like something to slide these in and have like a whole collection of them like because look at i mean these papers all go together so what a cool set you could give somebody like four of them full of pictures and like, scrapbooks you know like they're masculine. I don't know if I mentioned this either. They're so masculine and Father's Day is coming. How perfect to gift, you know, your your husband, your dad, your grandpa, something made with masculine papers. I think, um, I don't know, Mimi was having a, um, heritage some type of heritage collection i don't know if she's still carrying it but that would look really cool on these but yeah brenda was making those wasn't she she makes cool stuff there are the albums so cool and i'm just loving the whole i love the circular binding it's just so cool and it allows it just allows like you could even well if you have like a tie like I said you could tie it and then it displays it's very cool on a shelf but I hope this made sense and I hope you enjoyed enjoyed watching it I'll probably definitely most definitely be making more thank you for watching Michelle